Here at the Center for Functional Nanomaterials, our experimental colleagues have fabulous tools that allow them to do two significant things. First, they focus key tools on trying to understand what are the structures that people have made at the nano scale. How do the atoms relate to each other? How is one atom connected to the other in these structures? The second thing that they do is that they probe the properties of those materials, the optical properties of those materials or the electronic functionality of those materials, and then ultimately whether those structures they make have utility for something like photocatalysis or photovoltaic applications, gathering energy from the sun, for example. In the theory and computation group, our job is to build a bridge between those things understanding how to get from the structure of the materials of, of interest to their functional properties. And in order to do that, we use theoretical frameworks like the framework of quantum mechanics to understand how atoms in a certain structure will respond if they are uh, exposed to the photons from the sun, for example. Will they do a good job of absorbing that light if the atoms are organized in a certain way? In order to achieve that, we use software that's been written to help us solve the fundamental equations to describe those physical properties, and we use high-performance computing to get the answers. Inside my group, we share what I would call a structure discovery problem with our colleagues. Using fundamental principles, we can also address the question of how atoms want to organize themselves. And so we seek, in parallel with our colleagues or in collaboration with them, to identify structural motifs that will have a particular functional capability, like the ability to catalyze a certain reaction. One of the most exciting things about working here, as a theorist in particular, is that my colleagues are constantly coming up with new results that emerge from the measurements they're doing or their ideas for new measurements. And one of the fun things that we could do as theorists is that we can fill in missing pieces in the picture that emerges around those experiments. Especially our ability to draw this relationship between where are the atoms in the material, how are they organized. We can make our own understanding of how they should be organized from basic rules of nature. And then we can ask, what does that mean for the property that our colleagues are trying to measure? Can we close the loop and understand whether that's the right structure that explains what they've seen? For example, how that particular material absorbs light. It's going to be so exciting for us to have the chance to help our colleagues fill in the puzzles as new data comes from new instruments. And we hope to have that chance to just get great new insights into things like how catalytic systems work and other challenges that we don't yet know what they'll be, but, but we're poised to work on them.